Let me introduce you map applications that are aimed at visualization of the attractivity of living in different European regions. Right now, the presented rural attractivity evaluation workflows are visualized by two map applications. And as you will see, the user interface of those applications are very similar and both of them are using the same set of data for the calculations. This being said, one of the desired outcomes of the COVID-19 Inspire Hackathon is a fusion of those two applications. But let's now briefly look at each one of them. The first application calculates the attractiveness of living in different European regions by combining six factors, where user can specify weight of each one of them. The factors are compounded of publicly available datasets, whose values are at the level of NAT3 regions. The application provides other tools that I will cover in a few minutes. But uh, let's now focus on specifying the factor weights. As I said, there are six factors and by changing the value on the slider, you can change the influence of particular factor from zero to 100%. So let's try, for example, to leave there just economic factors and here you go. It takes uh, always a while to recompute the map, but you can see the color changing as I change the weights of the factors. When I set up the factors or the weights of the factors, I can then hover with my mouse over the certain region and uh, you will see the scores of this region for each factor and a sum up for the weights set by the sliders. Now let's move to the second application. This one computes clusters of European NAS3 regions where 40 statistical datasets are taken as inputs and the data are again grouped into six basic factors. You can inter interactively set the importance of particular groups that's the same as in the first application but on top of that if you expand the factor, you can select specific datasets which you want to include in the calculation. If you expand the dataset, you can even read the description of the dataset. Okay, now let's try to take this input and calculate the clusters. So base, based on this user input, the clusters are now calculated clusters with similar attractivity amongst Europe er, are, and are calculated by the words method with Manhattan distances. You can again move your mouse over the region to display some detail about it. And as you can see, there are no scores this time uh, as the, the clusters are displayed by the colors in, in the map, but at least you will see the country, the name of the region and cluster ID. Well, those functions we have seen so far have been directly connected with rural attractivity. But the map applications are based on HS Layers map application framework, which offers much more. There is of course something what we call layer manager that displays the content of the map and allows you to turn the layers on and off. If you click on this icon on this settings you can set the opacity of the layer. You can remove it from, from the map and so on. There is a legend tool, which probably doesn't make much sense in this particular case, but the next tool is much more in interesting. It allows you to add some more data to the map. As you can see, there are two tabs 
metadata catalog and external data. The metadata catalog, as the title says, offers you with some predefined datasets that are stored in the catalog on the server and are free to be used in the web. So let's try this. I'll select the first one, click on the add button and as you can see it's WMS service. So we'll have to select one of the layers, for example this one and click add and here you can see the edit in the map. Of course you can select more layers to be added, not just one and it will be shown in the map. You can then switch it in the layer manager on and off. I'll now turn those layers off and move back to this, to this tool. The second, uh, second tab, external data, allows you to add your own data. So you either can have your own service published on, on some server or you can have uh, data stored on your computer. In case you have your own service, I have one here, you can simply take the URL and enter it in this, in this text box, click on the connect button and it will read the content of the service, the list of the layers. So I will go and select, for example, this one and click add to the map. And here we go, you can see it in the map. Again, in the layer manager, you can turn it on and off. You can change the opacity. If the service provides it, you can even uh, display the metadata of the service. I have mentioned that you can even add your own data to the server and display it in the map. This option is uh, available here with shapefile, but unfortunately it's not yet set up on this server. So it's not, not available yet, but it's probably one of the challenges that, we'll, that we will tackle through this hackathon. Okay, that was a quick guide through the Rural Attractiveness Map Applications.